All right, well, Gerald recently posted a video on Instagram about helping his son with his math, math homework, correct? Right. Okay, let's take a look at that. Not all NFL players are jocks. Just help my son do his homework. I had to reteach myself, but we got it done, baby. Yo. Well, obviously, Gerald, you're a great dad. You figured it out, but this got us thinking about the most effective ways to help kids with their homework. And here to teach us is parenting educator Paige Michaelis. Paige, great to have you here. Thank you. So Thank Gerald you didn't much. have to give you a call that night because you love math. I do love math. <laughs> I really do. And when I you, love numbers. When you look at what your son is bringing home in, from the eighth grade, right. you, do you sometimes go, what the heck is this? I, I really do. And then I wonder how I was a, ever able to do it. But I still kind of remember it a little bit. So, you That's know. amazing. Yeah. Well, a lot of parents <laughs> are struggling with this right now because there's so much homework yes. and their parents are looking at it going, I honestly don't know how to do this. So yes. What do you suggest? You know, the, the first thing to think about with homework is to really think about the long-term view. Like really, what life skills, what characteristics do I want to teach my child through the process of going through homework, right? If we're thinking about teaching them responsibility, we're teaching them how to be capable, we're teaching them um, self-sufficiency, all of these kinds of things. To start with that kind of as a foundation for your homework process is really a good way to begin. Because then as you're going through kind of the sitting with them and right. you know, <laughs> how do I get them to do these kinds of things, you kind of have that those life skills and characteristics in the back of your mind as to, you know, and then it can kind of guide you in your process. Right. Is there so, a schedule when your kids come home from school that this is homework time or do they just get to it when they want to? No, or no, how does it no, work? Mm -mm. What happens no when they come when into the McCoy to. household? Yeah. You get straight to it. Really? Free free time and anything in the McCoy household is earned Ooh. by school. Okay. So mm -hmm. if your homework is not done mm -hmm. correctly, mm -hmm. it can get done. But if it's not done <laughs> yep. correctly, there is no free time. So we yep. gotta get right to so it. So yep. no TV right after school? No <laughs> no downtime? No yeah. time to relax? No. The only TV being turned on is mine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, is this right. a, is this a smart way to do it? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's about sharing your values with your child and your children and just really saying, you know what? Before we have any fun time, this is what needs to happen. And then one of the ways in which to get them to really kind of get into the process though of the routine is to engage them in the making of the routine right. so mm -hmm. having a sitting down just like this and having a conversation with them and saying hey you know what do you need in your homework space to make it comfortable for you do you need to have a snack before you sit down because some kids are starving when they come home true do you, you think about that gerald I the kids might did. be hungry I, my kids have a playroom mm -hmm. with two computers in it with a uh, workspace so mm -hmm. nice there's really no excuse no i guess <laughs> that's a pretty nice area right, right. Well, right. does there seem to be more homework now mm -hmm. than there was when we were kids it seems to me <laughs> that kids have got to put out a couple of hours a night and i I, I don't remember ever having to do that as a child absolutely there's Absolutely more and uh, uh, you know unfortunately a lot of the studies today are telling us that s homework can be counterintuitive and mm -hmm. counterproductive for children so I think it's important for parents to advocate for their child. I taught a homework class a couple of weeks ago and some of the parents who have kindergartners mm -hmm. were talking about an hour's worth of homework a night. That's not right. Kindergarten. 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 Wow. Yeah, because, and be, part of it was because their child was struggling right. with the work itself, right? And that's a whole other thing. Right. But for the parents to really advocate for their child and talk to the teacher and say, you know what, this is not working for my child. When my daughters were younger, I had to have those conversations conversations with mm -hmm. their teachers and say can we have more time right because it, it, it was due on a Friday but we asked to get the weekend as well okay. so it's okay to do that advocate and if you can't figure it out find somebody who can yep. get a tutor right yes absolutely Whatever use your takes. resources yep. or if you're Gerald you just keep at it until you figure it out <laughs> right. and right. master it right. Paige thank you very much thank you for having me here's to less homework for all the kids out there Thanks, we'll be right back with more daytime so don't go away